Okay, so here is me in particular. Um, again, it's very revealing and kind of alarming to be honest with you because it's taking a 3D image of your face, not what you see at, with the human eye. And so you will see, look at my eyelids. Um, you will see things that we can't see with the human eye, but that's the whole point of this, is that we get a good baseline um, when it comes to wanting to seek treatment that we haven't done. Um, so if you look at it, it says pores, spots, wrinkles, and then it goes through and it gets the texture of my skin, the polymorphins or just like sebum um, secretion. <laughs> that sounds really gross, but it's really true. Um, just, you know, uh, the sweats, sweat glands, um, hyper or hypopigmentation, and then the moisture and the sensitive areas, the brown spots and the UV damage, I look like some sort of alien. But let's pick sensitive in particular. So it's gonna pick up any red areas, more vascular areas like your eyes and around your mouth um, are obviously gonna be more apparent around my chin for instance is really red because of the pressure that i'm putting on the platform there um, so it's going to take a typical person my age and go through and give me a percentage on all these um, specific things so for instance my pores so based on me being 46 years old uh, 31 percent of the population um, has better skin than i do so it's pretty i'm pretty poor in that regard. I'm a little surprised by that one because I visibly, you don't see a lot of pores on me. Um, so they won't go to spots. So same thing. I know I had sun damage early on. That's just part of, you know, being young and running around on the beach and your mom not putting sunscreen on you. But my mom really did put a lot of sunscreen on me. So look at 38 is me. I was a, really surprised by this one because I've been getting Botox since I was like in my early 30s and I'm 46. So 53%, that's actually the only part that I'm good at is general, everything else I, I tested quite poor on. So 35% is just the texture of my skin. Um, I was poor. Uh, my sweat glands that are clogged with oil um, are really poor at 19% and my pigmentation is at 34%. And my moisture, so I'm really dry. Look at that, I had no idea it was that dry. So in all, I mean, this is kind of disturbing, um, even for someone like me that's been in the industry for a long time and have been on medical grade products and get, you know, pretty regular treatments of, um, Microneedling, diamond glows, uh, not as great about chemical peels, but this is just gonna give us a good baseline and then it gives us room to grow. So more than anything, it's room to grow. Um, we can give you indications on what products to put you on and what treatments to start you on. It, it's kind of nice because it, oh, as alarming as it is, it gives you suggestions for things and then it's up to you and the esthetician if you want